What would happen if you took all the buildings in Manchester, photographed them, smashed them together, took them out of their time period, and had an experiment just for the buildings? Forget the culture, the restaurants, and all the rest of it. Just look at the architecture of all the different styles, smashed it together, and just seen if there's anything new aesthetic that we could achieve. What could we do if we just took all the areas in the buildings and smashed them together in new and exciting ways? That was the background of this collage. I took 36,000 photographs. I finally nailed it down to about eight or 9,000. And all those photographs were then collaged onto 240 square meters of aluminium. And then they were hung from the ceiling in six giant panels that were double-sided. And that is what this movie is all about. Having a look at the experimentation between basically looking at all them buildings of beautifulness and great aesthetic detail and nature and throwing them together in a new and exciting way just for the hell of it, just to see what would happen. What are the looks that you can achieve? Is there a, not a new Victorian or a new modern? I just wish that my pictures were fragments of reality. Riders on the storm Riders on the storm Into this house we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone An actor out alone Riders on the storm there's a killer on the road His brain is squirming like a toad Take a long holiday And let your children play If you give this man a ride Sweet family will die Killer on the road I wish I could actually rebuild some of the buildings in the styles that I've created. I'm not saying everything I did was successful, but quite a lot of trials on buildings and photographs came out with some very interesting results. And I'd love to take those results and rebuild them in new, demonstrous, creative, contemporary ways. I don't think brick buildings with like wonderful York stone carvings should be forgotten. I don't think the terracotta busts of the fire station should be forgotten. And I don't think they should be preserved either. I don't think they should be preserved in exactly the same format. I think what we need to do as true Mancunians is inspire off the buildings and try and like work up new ways of aesthetic. And that's what I was looking at. A lot of people came to the exhibition. A lot of people came and most of them said they'd never seen anything like it. Which is ironic really because Photoshop's been going for like 20 years. Photoshop's been going for 20 years and yet it was only now that someone had the balls to take on the whole city and look at all the beautiful details and then create a kind of patination artwork and that is what this project is about. I have managed to succeed in creating a giant patination 
which is reflective of our city. I'm not saying it's cool and trendy. It's definitely interesting. And I got an awful lot of amazing feedback from the people that visited. They wanted to come in and see something different. And when they came in, they were taken back because even though all the marketing had told them, they liked the overall view. The overall view was something different, something exciting. No bullshit sharks in a tank, but nevertheless something a little bit kind of crazy and exciting. And then when they got closer, they realised and could see the amount of time that was spent creating this monstrous artwork. And there have been thousands of hours piled into this. And the results are beautifully arranged, very complex layering of different images of our city into a new and complex aesthetic. I love you just to just sit back now and enjoy it. So I'm gonna shut up. I love all the colours. I love all the textures. I love all the details. There's hundreds of them. You know, crafted by thousands of craftsmen and thousands of builders. And they all put time and effort in. And then it was a real privilege for me to like take them all, bring them all back to my studio in massive high resolution photographs. And then start to combine them and play around and my process went through many different phases at the beginning I was kind of bringing it together and then I started to pretend to be crazy and then I realized that it was just all pretending and then I just let go and I forgot about all the pressures to do with creating a successful project I just thought, do you know what? I'm just going to create my own artwork and I'm going to do it for me and I relax. And at that point, I started to create some really interesting forms and I started to really let go and not worry about what Manchester would think about my work. I started to like just experiment in a fun and playful way and that's where I really had my best time on the project because I could just let go and, and like combine Ancoats and the co-op building together in a crazy book collage. Um, I was obviously having an awful lot of fun at this point. I may have been working hours and hours in my studio but I had become relaxed um, and that's been the real inspiration for me that if you relax and you use the material and create some really interesting stuff. I hope you've been inspired by it too.